When I first learned the uh, frameworks for improvement and how you do it, we, we talked about uh, you know, really understanding the current system, uh, flow charting processes, doing cause and effect, doing lots of surveys, getting all the information, get, getting ready. And so I, you know, as I advised people that way and saw what happened, I saw a lot of activity but no improvement. So everybody was doing flow charts, looking at their system and collecting baseline data. And, and we realized in that, uh, talking to some, some people, as we worked with some professionals, we see they, they got antsy with that. You know, what is all this quality improvement thing? Why, why can't we make something happen? And so we, we went back and re-looked and re rethought uh, Deming's PDSA framework. And he said, why, why don't we just start running PDSAs right at the beginning? We, we could do it in parallel if we need to do all these things. And so we, as we developed the model for improvement, we made that sort of a framework of uh, uh, don't don't necessarily need all the answers before you get started and uh, people and so the whole idea of uh, uh, what cycle can we run by next Tuesday became sort of a mantra to as a provocation for people to think differently about the system it doesn't mean none of those other background things are important but it means that we can actually get along and begin to learn something right away by starting a PDSA and uh, you know for a while that was a uh, in IHI's uh, collaboration and stuff that was sort of a little mantra for us to get people it's a just a provocation to got people to think very differently about improvement that we actually could do some improvement next week even though we don't know that much about the system we're trying to improve so i think that changed sort of changed the framework and made the model for improvement different than a lot of other frameworks that uh, were available at the time mm -hmm.